Praise the Lord, pastors. We are excited to bring a great opportunity to you, and that is to open a ministry international institute in your local church. Yes, to have a fully accredited Bible institute in your church, train up your own disciples and raise them up. And, and guess what? Instead of shipping them off, they'll get to help you build the kingdom of God where you're at. Amen. And the opportunity is, how would you like to have that in your church at no cost to the church? We've been doing that for 15 years with Ministry International Institute, and we've been making disciples around the world. With me, I have Dr. Chris Waller. He is the Vice President of Ministry International Institute. He is also the Administrator of Ministry International Institute. And Dr. Chris, we're just glad to have you here. Good to be here, Dr. Slay. And uh, I'm just praising God because you are the one that talks on the phone with all these pastors around the world oh, and yes, helps yes. them to open their Bible institutes and their churches. And, and uh, it's been very successful. Thousands and thousands and thousands of disciples made around the world right. uh, in this way. And so my question to you is, what do the pastors do when you talk to them? A lot of them will call you back after they get going. What are their comments on the school? Well, a lot of times uh, the pastors uh, will call with an excitement and they're sharing with uh, how the class is growing and how that they're, uh, they're, they're learning more about walking in, uh, in the Spirit and hearing the voice of God. And, and uh, there's always a, a big excitement in the class. And, and then even uh, Dr. Slade, they, they share with, uh, at the end of the class when they get up and they pray before they leave, how it begins to open up the gifts inside the students and how they begin to step out and some begin to prophesy and some begin to give words of knowledge and, wow. and uh, moving in faith. And, and it's just a phenomenal sto stories. I, I get so many uh, you know, every day that I talk to pastors out there. So it's just a phenomenal uh, tool to actually put in someone's hand. Yes, you know, I've, I've been traveling and a lot of times I meet these guys before you talk to them or sometimes I meet them after you talk to them and uh, graduations and all that. But uh, all of them are just like uh, uh, saying, I had to go to the school to find out what I didn't know. Yes. You know, we've had uh, people with doctorates in theology yes, and divinity and all that, and they teach the school, and in the first 10 weeks they'll call us and say, I learned more in 10 weeks of this school than I've learned in all my theological oh, studies. Oh, yes, it's because they're getting deep revelation knowledge. I mean, it, it's, mm. a, it's this simple biblical truth, but at the same time, the revelation that comes out of this curriculum is this phenomenal. Well, now, now that you mention that, uh, this is a Bible. And this is essential to the Ministry International Institute. And you've got a book in your hand, and what is this? Well, this is the year one I'm holding in my hand. Of course, this is a, we have a year one, year two, and it's called the Associate Program. Uh, uh, but the, the two, uh, the Bible and, of course, the, the curriculum is, is going to be what the student will carry to class. And uh, this is what they actually will carry home when they're doing their homework assignments. But this is the only two things that they use in the full two years. And um, uh, this basically is this statement wow. backed by scripture, and this leads them to the Bible, so the student gets to know the Bible uh, from beginning to end. And it's, it's, it's a really phenomenal tool and a way to do, this, do things. Now, in a classroom setting, uh, Dr. Waller, one of the things that I appreciate is uh, sometimes if it's a smaller class, uh, they'll sit around tables and the instructor uh, will read a thought from here and then underneath is scripture. Mm -hmm. And then they'll have an open discussion over each thought. Yes, yes. There's no commentary in this curriculum. No, no. And uh, the homework assignments, what are the homework assignments? Well, the homework assignments when the student is taught a class and there's different lessons. There's like 11 courses in year one, which is a 43-week program. But each week within that course, the student, once they're taught, they go home and they will begin to uh, look up the scripture for that day. And there's right. going to be seven that they do, one, for one, one day, day for each week, yeah, where they will read, meditate, and journalize. And, uh, and the journals are so phenomenal. They're so their homework assignments in the Bible. Oh, their homework assignments are in the Bible. I mean, this leads them to the Bible, but I mean, their homework comes out of the Bible. So 
uh, they're constantly seeing the word, constantly in the word, mm -hmm. and and this is what what some so many pastors are trying to get. They're trying to get consistency out of the people to stay in the word. Well, this is a tool to help them get there. What a concept to go to Bible Institute and actually study the Bible. Oh Lord, yes, and and and, and listen, I, I get to read these journals, uh, Doctor Slay, a lot, and these journals, the students really get to say a lot about. Uh, who they are because they're getting revelation from the from the homework assignments and, and can you imagine doing uh, 43 weeks of journals mm -hmm. I mean you the script the, the the messages that you can get out of that I mean it teaches it preaches uh, but more than that they get to read an entire chapter each night too I mean we, we've actually had students that have written <laughs> books out of their journals oh Lord yes I mean uh, uh, a lot of times when, when a student gets to a point that they even enter into our doctorate program, uh, they use a lot of what they learn to do their dissertation. Yeah. And uh, of course, your dissertation, That's exactly we all know, ends up being turned into a, a book. A book. <laughs> that's, that's just incredible. Yeah. And so the atmosphere of the Ministry International to Institute becomes family. I, I, I have the testimonies we had one lady in North Carolina she was on her deathbed mm -hmm. and uh, she made them bring her uh, book yes. and her Bible to ICU mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, critical, critical care <laughs> and she maintained doing her homework assignments right we're in the midst of doing her homework assignments she ended up getting healed oh praise God and uh, but there's there's a thousand <laughs> testimonies like this. It's it's crazy, all the wonderful things that have happened. I, I know a, a a young lady that uh, never forget this going to do a graduation and and the young lady uh, that went through the first course and uh, on love love that passes knowledge and learning to love life course, yes. God loves and. And she had escaped from her brother. Her and her brother were alone. And um, he had begun to use her, uh, prostitute her out and things. And she escaped that and mm -hmm. ran and came to uh, the South. And she went through that course. And, and all of a sudden, the conviction hit her to love past knowledge and to forgive her brother. And she called her brother and found out that he was handicapped and couldn't take care of himself. Mm -hmm. And she went and forgave him and started taking care of him. And, that, and that's the concept of love that passes knowledge. That's why uh, it, it's the very first course in year one. Because without the concept of understanding how to walk in the love of God, uh, everything else, in my opinion, is irrelevant. You know, it, it healed her. Her eyes were lit and her heart was healed because she was able to restore that one family relationship she had. And she had found out that while she had escaped for years from mm -hmm. him, he had found Jesus Christ. As oh, wow. Well, praise God. Praise God, <laughs> brother. And that's just it. I mean, uh, Dr. Slade, we, I hear testimonies. We go to these graduations, and there's usually a, a handful of students that will get up and give their testimony. And, and a lot of them, they went through something, or they were going through something when they entered into this program, but slowly they, they, they figured out how to be delivered out of those situations. Uh, testimonies of people who had nothing, uh, living in basically poverty, uh, now walking in the blessings. And that's what we're supposed to walk in. We're, we're the seed of Abraham. Right. We're supposed to be walking in the blessings. Yes. And, uh, and this whole program really leads people to that, wow. to walking in the blessings. Amen. Yeah, I, I agree. And... Uh, you know, the transformation of a student in the Ministry of National Institute has just been incredible. And I want to talk to you pastors and say to you, uh, this is an opportunity of a lifetime, but you have to call us. You have to call us because uh, we don't go run into everybody. We can't. But I'm telling you, if you call us, mm -hmm. uh, we will help you out and you will thank us for bringing this tool to your church. And uh, we just appreciate you viewing this so much. We're excited for you, and we're excited for those that you're about to yes. train up in your local church. We just want to encourage you, pastors. I'm telling you, you can have this accredited education in your church. You can make disciples and empower the people that you train yes. up. 
And I'm telling you, we'll be glad to help you. Dr. Waller, I appreciate you being here so much to go been through some of this with us. And I'm just excited about making disciples around the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I love our logo. <laughs> our campus is, is the, the world. world. <laughs> <laughs>